Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners to Advanced. So in this lecture, let's uh, create a basic elbow model. So you can see uh, the drawing here and uh, it has uh, the front view, left view and a top view. So we'll create this. So before that, let's uh, go to the part design. So in the mechanical design and a part design and just give a name here elbow design 01. So this is our basic uh, design we are we are going to create here to just give you an idea so you can see in the in the front view you can see uh, there is a guide curve this is a guide curve you can see and we can create this and here this is a circular profile in the top view you can see this is a circular profile so we can just use this circular profile and uh, this this uh, guide curve and based on the rib command we can create this uh, elbow so let us create uh, this first so this is 200 and this is again 200 and the diameter of this arc is also 200 so let's create a sketch on a front plane so let's select this front plane here and now uh, you can simply create the lines or maybe i will create this line here select this and select this okay just escape after it and then uh, you can simply provide this dimension so let's consider this uh, from the x is 200 so this is 200 200 and then this one as well 200 enter 200 and then uh, to create this arc here we can simply use a round fillet here so you can see uh, the chamfer this is a corner so you can see this you can use the corner here and just select and now i will just double click here and provide a radius it's as asking for radius so you can provide that 100 because we have a diameter of 200 here so that's it uh, we have this uh, guide core ready with us and now we can simply uh, create this profile which is a circular profile so exit the workbench and now i will first create a plane so create a plane here you can see the plane is available in the reference element so just select the plane and then select a plane type so i want to create a plane at this point and which is normal to this curvature okay so here we can select normal to the curve and then here there is a lock icon so uh, just click it to disable the automatic type change so based on it sometimes happen uh, based on the geometry we have selected the plane type has changed so just better for, uh, for safer side just click on it so that it will get locked you can see the lock is appearing in the uh, red color and then select a graph here uh, a curve here sorry the curve here and then after that you can simply select a point where you want to create that particular plane so i want to create it at an end point if you if you want to create at any any other point in this uh, curvature then you can right click here and then create a point and again it will open up the just let me try this as well so uh, once you click on the create point it will open up the point definition and again it will ask for the point types so on curvature you can select and then you can provide this curvature so I will not use this now. We can just uh, select the end point. C click on OK. So now you can see the plane has been created at this end point and which is normal to the curvature. So now sketch on this uh, plane. I will I will uh, create a circular profile again, uh, which is of diameter 150. So just sketch here. And then select the circle profile create a circle and just mention uh, the diameter is 150 150 and uh, it is already iso constant because you can see it is already in the green so just ex exit the workbench here and then uh, just go to the rib, rib, rib here you can see the rib option available so here it will ask for the profile so just select the profile and then the center curve just select a center curve here and then if you preview it you can see 
the rib has been created and now uh, we can simply uh, make it hollow so if you see here you can see this is a 140 diameter so again you can you can make use of this uh, complete uh, guide curve here but instead of you need to just need to create a different profile having a diameter of 1 140 mm so again go to go to this and then you can simply uh, unhide this sketch one here just show it you can see this is appearing now and then again uh, you can simply create on this uh, face or you can create on the plane even so just better try to create on the plane and then here i will create a again a circular profile so now you can see this is in white so if you try to drag it you you can see it's it's moving right so that's why we, we should uh, make the sketch as iso constraint so just select a constraint here and select the circle just provide a diameter as 140 and then exit the workbench so once exit you can see uh, you have uh, the the guide curve here as well as the profile so now let's uh, use a slot here instead of rib because we are removing the material so let's select this uh, slot which is just behind the rib option let's select this slot and then uh, profile we need to select this profile here and then after that the center curve so that's why we have uh, unhidden this uh, center curve here and then just click on preview and click on ok so now you can see uh, the simple basic elbow is uh, completed and here you can see i think i think it's all done and if you want to uh, create a drawing then simply uh, you can uh, go to the file here then click on new and here select this drawing option just click on ok and then maybe it will ask you yeah okay so now it will ask you for the sheet size so let's keep this as it is i will not change this okay so here uh, we are in the drawing now and to to place the views just you can you can use simply here let's say just uh, put first the front uh, front view here and then uh, switch in between these windows go to the elbow design one and then here uh, maybe we can we can add this so now this is the front view we will take select this front view you can see the orientation view here and then just click here and it will create that view particular view if you want to uh, change the scaling here you can just select that view and then right click here and then here you can change the scale let's say 1 is to 3 and you can see it is fits in that uh, particular sheet so again uh, if you want to add some other uh, views then you can use again go to this view tab and then you can see here the projection view and select this projection view and then drag here again let's say i will select here and we'll add this top view as well so now you can see uh, the views are created but you don't see the particular uh, hidden lines so if you want to see that you can just right click here and again go to the properties here and then here you will see the hidden lines so just select this and click on apply and just click ok so now you can see the hidden lines also uh, gets displayed here and the outer one is the regular line again if you want to add a here as well then you can just go to the properties and then let's try to add the hidden lines you can see the hidden lines are added because of that particular uh, slot we have created uh, as this is here hollow the, the inner edges are getting displayed in a hidden way so again if you right click here so if you want to show the center line you can just apply that one as well uh, the axis you can try out you can see the axis are going, is going to be displayed here and just click ok again if you want to do the same thing here as well then you can go to the properties and again you can just switch on the hidden lines so let's click ok and then you will see the hidden lines here so in this way you can you can just uh, create this uh, basic elbow model and create a drawing from that and 
again let's uh, go to this isometric you can see the isometric view as well so that's it uh, from this video uh, thank you so much for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more practice videos on katia v5 thank you so much